we're looking at scum, pond scum. So what do you need to model scum? Well, it's a good question. Um, first of all, you need prototype photos. So what type of paint makes the best pond scum? I've got five different types here. I've got um, Tamiya, this is XF58 olive green, it's a dark green. I've got an olive green Vallejo. Um, I love Vallejo, it's a very good acrylic. It's very dense, very thick, small, fine pigmentations, great for hand brushing and also for um, um, brushing, but you're not supposed to spray some of the colors to do check because some of them contain sort of particles and um, minerals that you wouldn't want sprayed into the air. Um, I've also got an oil, this is Terre Verte, which is basically green ground, and um, it's a hue and it's an oil colour, so we'll see what that's like. And I've got two enamels, I don't have float quills, so this is the nearest I get. This one's Slimy Grime Light by AK Interactive, another military modelling um, brand, and Slimy Grime Dark. So the first thing is, I've mixed this in Virotex Light, it's still degassing, and I'm just going to pour a little bit into each of these. And they're on newspaper for obvious reasons. I want it quite near the top. There we go. So I'm just going to leave these to set for um, a little while. I'm going to keep breathing on them to get rid of the bubbles. First up, what do we do now? Well, we just want to put on some um, different paints and see which ones come out the best. So that's my tea for Tamiya. Let's just see how it goes. So I've got some Tamiya paint here and I'm literally just going to drip it on and swirl it around a little and just let it spread and we'll get a little effect with it and we'll see what we think of it. So that's Tamiya. This one's Vallejo which let's just put that in. And immediately you can see the Vallejo the acrylic just doesn't doesn't do very much. I mean you can mix it in but it isn't it isn't sitting on the surface in the same way that the um other one did. This is oil paints. They often come out with a bit of oil on them, so definitely need to now and the reason I didn't use um normal artist acrylics is I thought the Vallejo was a little bit um easier to use. So this, again, I'm just going to try and uh, mix it in with the oil a bit and get a bit of a slimier looking. So it doesn't mix well, does it? So I think this one's going to be a bust. You can put it through to get, um, yeah, but no, doesn't do very much at all. Next one. So this is AK Interactive Slimy Grime Light, which is that one. So here we go, we're just gonna put it on. And you see you get the, oops, a little swirl round. You do get the um, effect that you got with the, the one's a bit lighter, doesn't show as well the color on this particular color. So Slimy Grime Dark, oops, Slimy. We'll just, just spread that one out too and see what happens to that. So bear in mind, these are enamels. So how did our scum experiment do? Well, interestingly, um, this is the Tamiya. You, you have got a nice, fine, sort of streaky surface on it. You could have put a lot more on, I think, and actually, yeah, it's, it's got the, um, the sort of clumping you might get on a vegetation, but it actually ends up very smooth and doesn't um, doesn't really show that much. Yeah, the Vallejo is a bit of a non-starter. You can see it's gone all the way through, but it hasn't actually sat on the surface at all. You get some streaks in there. If you look at it, it actually looks very much like the, um, the sort of scum you get building up in a, in a tank, that very deep, still water blanket weed type thing. So it could be a useful effect. Oils, yeah, didn't work. 
Now, these are the two I thought would work well. They're the um, enamel paints, and they have worked. The slimy grime light and slimy grime dark. And they have both just done what you would expect them to do. They've gone to the edges and they've coated the surface. And you can actually see them. Um, you know, yeah, you can actually see them, which is the important thing. So I would say in future, use an enamel. Um, to me, it does work and you do get a nice, fine, sort of different technique. So you could use that in some instances, but if you really want it to show up, then go with an enamel because you get more depth to it. It doesn't disperse as much and it does actually do what it says on the tin. And it hasn't stopped them setting at all on any of these. It's all set up nicely. So there we go. Pond scum experiments. So here are some close-ups, the Tamiya. You can definitely see the, the bittiness of it, very like scum. Vallejo, less good. More like blanket weed, perhaps. Oils, crash and burn, I think we'll just forget those. Nothing really useful there. The Slimy Grime Light Enamel Paint actually looks quite good when you see it in close-up. It's less obvious, perhaps, on the video. And here's the dark colour. You can see that it does form a very scummy, colour, just perhaps a little dark. Now let's see what they look like in a real diorama as opposed to in little shot glasses. So the last thing I want to do on these dioramas is put on a bit of scum. So literally a cocktail stick and I've got my slimy grime dark and my slimy grime light. And I did think the slimy grime light gave a better effect. So I'm just going to get this and I actually put some on this one on the previous layer. So it's got a bit of depth to it now with its slime. And I'm literally just going to take a few drops and put them around the middle. There's one. Here's two. I'm going to put it on the centre of that so we can hide that little globby bit of it. And it will spread out, so I'm just going to put it... I mean, if you think about it, this kind of slime whoops, doesn't drop onto leaves. It tends to stick round the edges of um, things, so you'd expect it to gather behind driftwood. And perhaps around the back here. we go. I don't think I'll put any dark on. This really matches the, the colour of the water that I've got in there and I think it works really well. It's a very uncontrollable effect, so one to bear in mind before you daub it all over your much loved diorama and water that you might end up with very muddy looking, very covered water. It may not look quite as you expect it to, so that's one to have a practice with, but maybe not one to, to put all over your diorama. So here's the final result in situ in a pond. I'm quite pleased, you can see that scummy look. Definitely looks quite scary and not something you'd want to fall into. In this week's episode, the mini Cathy's are in mortal danger from dun 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 pond scum. Will they survive? Deeper. Deeper. Off 
obvious, isn't it? It's a model. Tune in next week for more exciting adventures from the Mini Cathy's. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode on scum. Next week, it's a little bit cleaner, but it's still water. If you're enjoying these videos, then subscribe to me on YouTube or on my website, kathymillett.co.uk. Alternatively, like me on Facebook, Kathy Millett Modelling. See you next week.